I'm Ant Miles, owner of Lifting Spirit Records, and this is a bit of backstory on Lifting Spirit Reloaded. So Lifting Spirit Records was originally a sister label to Ram Records. It was all coming out of a studio that me and Andy had created back in 1991 together. And there were so many tracks happening in that studio that we had the idea to start Lifting Spirit as a sister label to catch some of the tunes that were going by the wayside as most of the tracks that we would select for Ram would be the anthems, the ones that were smashing it at the weekend that Andy was playing. Um, so we had that sister label, as I say, to capture the tracks that maybe weren't of the Ram sound, but were still good enough to go out. got a lot of dats in the RAM and Lifting Spirit archives with tracks that never came out, masters of ones that are sought after. Back in the early 90s, me and Andy were in the studio every day. We're making a tune a day nearly and lots of different artists like Shimon, Flatliner, Stacker and KT visiting the studio. There were tunes everywhere. The rate that these tunes were being made, it was difficult to go back and rename it that as the titles to the tune would come later. And there's all these dates, all looking the same, with hardly anything written on them at all. There might have been like, ridiculous titles that we gave it as a joke. Luckily, I had a very good friend, Bill Vega, who is most known for Out of Romford Records, DJ Infinity, Joint Venture. So we started to go through that after that after that, Finding tracks that were put on our friends label like Strategy or um, out of Romford Records to get in the idea of doing a Lifting Spirit Reloaded series. Reloaded in the way that we're going to get these dates and see if they play, see what's on them and see if uh, anything tweaks the year. We talked about the idea of doing it ourselves on Lifting Spirit Records. And eventually we're coming across tracks where Bill's saying to me, what is, what's this track? And he's like, well, why, why didn't this one come out? And I was like, oh, I don't know, it just didn't at the time. He was already working on maybe the shadows or something else. and. At the time, it just got forgotten about. And they'd be like, mate, you know, these, these need to go out. like well let's get these onto vinyl let's let's do a series on lifting spirit where we can showcase some of these tunes um, to not only the old crew from back in the day but the new generation as well So it's quite fun to start putting these dats into the machine and going through them and seeing what was on them. One of the most successful was one that me and Andy done as Origin Unknown, which was Voyage to the Future. And it had the same DNA approach as Valley of the Shadows on Dark Tunnel. It was meant to be a follow-up to that tune. So tracks would get, dats would get lost, um, 
some dats wouldn't play with the voyage to the future um, the dat was corrupt but in going through these 200 dats we found it as it backed up on one of another dat that I didn't even know existed so I was like so pleased that we found this track It's been a good project for remembering that era and um, recapturing the vibe of that, that time. We came up with the term reloaded, which literally it was putting the dats into the machine, reloading up some of the tracks. And it's a reissue, a revisit, a reloading of that era. It is the unknown that defines our existence. By the end of 2019, around that time, we started to reissue vinyl only as Lifted Spirit Reloaded. And some had gone out before and some hadn't gone out before. The biggest track for Lifting Spirit was Cold Fresh Air that I made with DJ Rhythm as Higher Sense. Without that, that one was the biggest track that went out on Lifting Spirit. Um, the remixes of Cold Fresh Air eventually went on Moving Shadow, but this one was the biggest track that we put out, Cold Fresh Air. And I was able to find the floppy disks as well. So I managed to get the stems up for that and Bill Vega and Paul Smiles of Out of Romford did a remix of New Decade and that one flew. We've been able to get Simon on board who cut the tracks from back in the day at the exchange and bizarrely we're actually pressing at the pressing plant that we used to use um, in the 90s as well so a lot of the key players of that Ram and Lifting Spirit sound are included on this series today Hopefully it's, it's touched a few people and brought a new generation to the awareness of how wicked that era was for jungle, drum and bass, hardcore. And how, how relevant it still is today. Each of these has been an emotional 
revisit to a time that is a uh, history that I'm so proud to be involved with. And it was also really satisfying that we was able to find some of the tracks that have been lost. So most of the tracks that you've been hearing in this piece, for example, are all tracks that have previously just been in the draw and have lost that. So wicked to Bill for going through so many dats and selecting ones that um, he felt should go out. And it's been an amazing to hear these tracks after 30 years. Bill Vega has done an amazing job with this project. He's helped me completely from day one, and without Bill Vega, I wouldn't have been able to do any of this. Well, we're gonna do a new format that is a USB stick that some of our mentors have already been doing on other labels. And uh, as the series progressed on vinyl, we were asked if they were gonna be digital, and so with the whole series and some bonus tracks, 82 tracks on this USB, uh, it's gonna be in a nice CD case, um, something to cherish, to look back on, something to hold. Thanking Andy C and Shimon and anyone else that's chose to work with me in my life. It's been an absolute blast and I really do hope that um, this is a reminder of that era, of that sound that I believe is magical and uh, will always be appreciated.